Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Well, welcome to another edition of Living With Cancer. This is my daily blog. Now, today I wanted to talk about how you pay your bills during cancer. How can you pay your bills during chemotherapy? Um, you know, because when you've got something so nasty as that, and not just cancer or chemotherapy, I mean, you know, you're talking about mental illness where people can't work and stuff like that. So how do you pay your bills when you're going through that sort of traumatic experience? Now, before we go on, again, I'm somewhere different. Behind me, there's a lovely castle. Um, let me get my big fat head out of the way. There's a lovely castle behind me on the outskirts of Fuengirola. Um, and as you scan around, there's a stunning bridge, a suspension bridge, just here. <laughs> um, very nice. And obviously the sea is in the background. Now let's dive into this a little bit more. So for me, it was quite a tough one because, you know, I was self-employed, I had a business and all it just pretty much dissipated overnight. Um, people found out I got a cancer and they decided to leave. Fair enough, I mean, it's not their fault. Um, customers decided they didn't want to pay. I mean, that was shocking, to be honest. Um, I won't dive into who they were because that's, you know, that's my private business, but you know, I mean, most of them paid in the end. It was a massive battle, but when you're so weak in hospital, you can't fight. I mean, you're struggling to fight the battle of staying alive, let alone trying to get money off people that you've already worked for and paid your uh, employees for, for doing the work. Um, you know, so I lost my business fairly quick. I mean, I didn't lose it because it was bankrupt. I let it go. I just, 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 just shut it. Um, so that was that. Now, Money, they say money doesn't make the world go round or um, money won't make you happy and all the rest of it. What a load of nonsense. <laughs> you take it from me, people. If there's any sycophantic rich people on watching this, you listen sharply. If there's any people with money, you know, have a little listen. Have a little listen to how it comes from our side. Now, for us, we didn't have any money. We still had a huge mortgage to pay. We still had all the utilities to pay. My son was in a private school. We had all those bills to pay and no money coming in. Now, my wife worked tirelessly. You know, she carried on with her job until actually at the end of my chemotherapy, um, she was made redundant. So not only did I not have a job and I wasn't working for, you know, some time, uh, my wife lost her job too. Fortunately, we've, uh, we've got a timeshare. So we came to Spain uh, on a holiday and we sat in a bar one day and just said, wouldn't it be nice? And she said, that's it. Six weeks later, we were here. So, you know, but we never had any money. We never had any income. So for me, oh, I've just seen dolphins. <laughs> huh. um, for me, it, it was very difficult because I've already said during chemotherapy, I did do some work. But I couldn't do it all the time. You know, I was I was earning a wage, but paying somebody to be with me. So I was earning half a wage, really, if you like, um, for doing a full day's work with other, you know, with companies. <laughs> There's still photos on my Facebook of me standing in a yard or doing something I shouldn't have been doing during chemo. It was a necessity because I didn't have any money. We didn't have anything. You know, in hindsight, you know when my, my biggest advice to people is we all say, nah, I'm not going to have life insurance. And if I do, it's not going to be very big. It'll just be a few grand. Oh, change your mind. Change your mind. 100%. Even if it, you don't never need to, and fingers crossed, you never ever need to use it. Even if you don't ever need to use it, pay. And have a big payout just in case. You know, for me, we had one attached to our mortgage. It turned out it was about 20,000 quid. By the time we paid the bills, by the time we paid for uh, the stuff, you know, because we went into arrears with our mortgage. We went into arrears with, our, with, the, with my son's private education. We went into arrears with bills. By the time it's all paid that, well, you've got nothing. You know, we had just about enough money to get flights back to Spain um, to start up our new life. My wife was very fortunate. She got the job she did. And, you know, that was that. The worrying thing is, is you see on TV where you've got these charities, forgive the, it's gone a bit windy now, you see these charities saying, don't worry, 
um, we're there to help you every step of the way. That's great. What they don't tell you is, um, they sort of manipulate the way they say things. For instance, there's a particular charity actually set up in the hospital where I was. Um, and they said, come back and see us. As soon as you got your diagnosis, come back and see us. Don't worry about your bills. Don't worry about this. Don't worry about that. And I thought straight away, I thought, oh, thank God for that. You know, there's no more stressing about how the bills are going to be paid and all the rest of it. So I left it, got the diagnosis, very, very upset. Um, wasn't really sure what to do. Went and saw this particular charity. Now, I sat in front of this lady and she said, <laughs> she said, oh, I'm ever so sorry, but we can only advise you where to go or who to speak to. I said, but that's not what you said in the beginning. You told me to come with my diagnosis and you'd be able to help towards the bills and things as you're a huge charity. And no, 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 we don't do things like that. You know, uh, I mean, you might be eligible for about 10 pound a week. You are kidding. I mean, I can't even wash myself for crying out loud, but I'm trying. And it turns out I went to actually the, um, what we call in the UK is, um, you know, uh, uh, social help. Uh, which is uh, welfare. Uh, I went to the welfare and uh, they said, can you wash yourself? Not really, but I do. You know, it takes me a long time to get there. Um, can you feed yourself? No, I'm far too ill, but you know, I, you know, my wife will leave me some things on the counter and I'll go and get it. Um, can you clothe yourself? No, not really, but you know, I put my pyjamas on and, and that's about as far as I go. Can you do this? Can you do it? I'm not a liar. That's one of the things I couldn't do. Now, if I'd have lied, I'd have got a free card, I'd have got all my mortgage paid, everything, but I'm not a liar. So, you know, if, if I'm not going to uh, advise anybody to tell lies for the rest of their lives, but I do know of people that have um, manipulated the truth, um, you know, a fair play to them, manipulated the truth to benefit them. And I can't blame them, to be honest. You know, these sort of people have got free cars they've got money coming in they have got no worries now um, for me I'm a bit crap like that I can't tell lies I want you if I told a lie to you now you'd probably see it in my face full of it I'm a millionaire no I'm not <laughs> I'm lying <laughs> um, but you know at the end of the day these charities are they I mean they do a great job but they do you know, sort of twist the truth a little bit on how they'll help you. They help in different ways. They don't help in what they say they can help in with money and all the rest of it. Now, so my wife lost her job. I didn't have any work. We lost our business and we're still paying for our huge mortgage. We're still paying for this. We're still paying for that. So how do you pay for your bills? Well, in a nutshell, you don't pretty much unless you've got a huge insurance payout. Now, for, for us, we didn't, um, and we really struggled. You know, even now, five years later, we're living day by day. You know? <laughs> we live week by week. We've got no money. People think we've got money, but we haven't got money, but nothing like it. <laughs> but we both work, you know, and we both do as much as... I don't work as much as I can, um, but I do my best. You know, I'm starting a new job in uh, in a week's time. I really can't wait. You know, it's it's a good job, um, and it's doing what I do best, solving problems. So I'm chuffed. But before all that, it's been a real struggle for five years. But the stress of that alone is the bit that makes it really hard um, because you're trying to get better. You're trying to focus on doing something. You're trying to focus on giving something back to your family that have given so much to you. Because, you know, you've got to imagine, my wife and my son were there for me all the time. You know, every five minutes they were there for me. Uh, and, you know, when you try and give something back, it's really hard because you've got nothing to give back. You know, when you can't work because you're ill or you can't do a particular job, for instance, I don't drive trucks anymore because I just can't stand it. I'm scared to death of all the, all the aggro on the road. And it's just not, it's not me anymore. It's just nothing like me anymore. Um, plumbing, you know, I just, I'm too afraid of catching a bug from somebody else's excrement, if you like, in their bathroom. I'm too afraid. Um, all my other trades I've done, you know, diggers, 
I'm too afraid of catching that bug um, that comes out of mortar when you're digging around. Um, so I can't really do that. So now I've changed the way I do things to be able to earn money in a different way. So during chemotherapy, during cancer, even mental illness or even another illness, or you're disabled or something, and you know, you, 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 you can't tell lies like me. Um, there's nothing really you can, you can get. I mean, the only thing I suppose we had a little bit of a, an insurance payout, that paid the bills. That's pretty much all it paid. We didn't have nothing else. And pretty much we sold everything we had. You know, we had a caravan, we had a couple of pickups, we had a few vans, sold it all, you know? And most of that paid off um, the tax man, really, essentially, because I mean, a tax man don't, don't suddenly disappear when you've got cancer or, uh, you know, or you're going through chemotherapy. They're still there. They're bloody, oh, they're awful. <laughs> <laughs> they're awful you know I'm looking at stones here I can't see any blood coming out of them but I can guarantee they'll find it <laughs> um, so pretty much in a nutshell that's it I mean there's nothing really special about it if you've got no money coming into cancer you'll have no money going out of it I can guarantee you that if you're very fortunate in life you know I know a few people that are very fortunate in life they've done very well and you know I praise them they come from that sort of background and if they suddenly went through cancer you know they'd be okay you know they've got no real worries um, when you're coming from a you know um, a background that I've come from and many people will relate to this on here um, you've got nothing you've got nothing as a backup so my advice to people is go get that insurance and pay the damn thing you know even if it's 20 quid a week, who cares? 20 pound a week, 20 dollars a week, 20, oh, I don't know, whatever currency there is in the world, uh, euros, 20 euros a week, whatever. Pay it, because that might, you know, hopefully, fingers crossed, you'll never have to use it, but at least you've got it there as a just in case, and then you haven't got that worry if the bad day comes, you know? the bad day comes with cancer and you're worrying about whether you're going to be alive or not worrying about if you're going to lose the house if you've already got that insurance in place it's perfect so my advice is get an insurance okay right listen i've rabbited on far too much i've probably gone off stray again like i normally do but who cares <laughs> this is a daily blog this is what i do now listen don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel please if you turn your phone the other way portrait on the right hand side just underneath the video there's big red writing that says subscribe go on press it do me a favor <laughs> peace everybody see you tomorrow